So my friends, it's Nick Logan. I want to talk about one simple concept, and that's blogging call to action. And I want to talk about doing that with pictures on your blog. So if you want to add regular pictures, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, but what I recommend is actually having a call to action on every single blog post. And that could be a buy now button, a buy now picture, sign up for my list, um, you know, simply watch my video or comment. Use your imagination on what that call to action should be, but that call, call to action should be on every single blog post. Every single blog post should have a call to action. Now, depending on what you want to do in that blog post sh should determine your call to action. And I use pictures to have a call to action on my blog post. Pictures are appealing. Uh, pictures are, you know, pique people's interest and they get people to want to click or to comment or to go visit your video. So let's check that out. Let's go to a couple examples here. So if you want people to comment, I did this blog post on um, resentment's vicious circle cripples creative goal striving. And I wrote a nice blog post here. I, I used that technique of the uh, block quote here uh, from Psycho Cybernetics. I put a picture of the cover of Psycho Cybernetics uh, with some text here. Frustration, aggressiveness, insecurity, loneliness, uncertainty, resentment, emptiness. Um, and then another block quote. And right here, I kind of want people to comment. So I've added a picture here um, and so people can comment on this blog post here. So that's one example. A call to action is a comment. Call to action is to sign up now. Buy my products. It's only $25 to get started. And it teaches you exactly how to blog and how to internet market it, etc. So I did a blog post and I put in you know, two or three videos to kind of walk them through. And then this picture right here, if you see in the fine print, if people click on this, it goes to my join page uh, so they can um, sign up for my program that's only $25. On the bottom right here, if I hover over the, on the bottom left here, if I hover over these pictures, you'll see what website that's linked to. And I'm going to show you how to link those. Another way thing to do is to share on social media, hey, I'm doing a Google Hangout right now, time to hang out live. And in the description, it goes over to a blog post that I did, which is right here, and that's the recording of our Hangout. And I just, you know, when you do a Google Hangout, it goes to your YouTube account, and you can copy and paste that code into your blog post, and they can have the opportunity to watch that. So uh, I shared on Facebook a, a picture. I put some text on that picture. And then um, the description in Facebook goes to my blog post. Remember, your blog is your home. That's where you invite people to go and you want them to stay at your home as long as possible. You want them to be there. You don't want them to be on someone else's site like Facebook or YouTube. You want them to be on your blog. So sharing these pictures on Facebook and then having in the description your blog post is a great way to do that. And I'm going to show you a quick tip here. Um, I use um, PicMonkey. And right now, I'm going to add this picture to a blog post and show you how to do it. So I took a picture of myself uh, golfing in Arizona, and I did pick mon monkey. It's super self-explanatory, super easy, and you can make your own pictures. So I said, make money blogging while on the golf course. So, you know, um, that's a very powerful representation. And, and, you know, I'm not going to show you how to use pick monkey. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to save this picture. All right, from there, I already did this blog post, Blogging for Beginners. Obviously, this is about blogging. Add your first blog post, and then I want a call to action. So call to action. So I just simply go, I'm in my blog, my blog back office now, and this is a WordPress blog, and I simply say add media. Now, I know where I put that picture, so I go upload file files, select files, and then I go find it. Now, as you see, it's uploading here. These are all my media files that I've used in different blog posts, and um, I use these on quite a few blog posts. A couple little advanced tips here. You want to title it based on you know a keyword, blogging for beginners. The alt text is also something you want to put some keywords in there, blogging for beginners. And uh, now here's the key here. You can make this an, 
to the attachment page, a media file. So if they click on the picture, it can be like a, like a audio or whatever. I just use a custom URL. So I can, when they click on that picture, that call to action, I have a specific thing that I want to send them to, which is, you know, buy now or whatever. So I inserted that link. And when they click on this picture, they will go to my capture page, whatever page you want them to go to. And then I simply say, insert into post. Now here's another t advanced tip. So if I go to the visual tab, I uh, already put a title up here. I put a, a, you know, some text. I put a video, put some more text. I put another video and right here's my picture. So what I can do, this is an advanced thing. I can click on this picture. Remember, I'm on the visual tab now. I can click on this picture, go over here to edit image. And instead of bothering with sizing this picture, I can go to advanced settings to make sure that it's, uh, it fits the way I want it to fit. So in the advanced settings tab, I can wipe this out, the height, make it blank, and then in the width, I can say 100%. 100% and eliminate the height. So that what that will do, I'll show you, it'll make it the perfect size to fit my blog. I'm going to update and I'm going to visit this page now and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I can view post, right click, open link in a new tab. This is already published and as you see I have my blogging for beginners and I don't have a lot of text in here. I can add text later. But I have a couple videos. This first video is about what's the difference between a blog page and a blog post. That's that video. How to add your first blog post right here. Then I have my picture. You see it fits perfectly within this page. If you hover over that, on the bottom left it says it goes to my capture page and I'm just going to open that. So I'm clicking on the picture and if someone does that, so basically I have a call to action here. Make money blogging while on the golf course. Well, what's that? Oh, let's click on it. Well, that goes to my capture page. This is my capture page. I'd like to show you how to make money online starting today. Send them my free video, they put their email in and now they're part of my email series and my funnels and part of my process. It's a very powerful way to add a call to action. So we said a call to action could be buy my, buy my stuff. <laughs> a call to action can be, you know, comment. It can be, hey, check, it, check me out, I'm on a live Google Hangout right now. Well, Google Hangouts are recorded, so I put that Google Hangout on a blog post and that's there and so there's a couple different ways to go about having a call to action and pictures are extremely powerful in that. Um, they don't have to be a call to action, but you can add pictures to your um, blog post to, to um, you know, make it visually appealing. People don't want to look at a blog post that's just text. They want to see video. They want to see pictures. So um, I pretty much covered a lot of the things that you can do to be a successful blogger. I covered you know, how to add text, how to add links, how to bold, how to italicize how to add video, how to add pictures, how to add a, a, a link to those pictures, how to add links within your blog posts. Um, with that being said, you pretty much have everything at your disposal to be a successful blogger. So with that being said, have a great day, my friends, and we will talk soon. See ya.